Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today we're going to be working with a brand new updated version of Matador Smash for Mod Organizer 2. Since Mod Organizer 2 has been updated, we're going to go ahead and update all of our um, tutorials for the new Mod Organizer 2 and how it works. Alright everyone, so Matador of Smash, if you don't know, is a tool the, uh, created by Matador the Eternal, right here. Unfortunately it is not on the Nexus, which I, I hope at some point it will be put on the Nexus as a tool to use by Matador. Now it is an alpha stage, however it is stable enough where I am confident to actually give you a video on how to download and then use it and install it. Now believe it or not, Matador Smash is a tool that actually replaces the SSE, SSE Edit Merge patch and the Wire Bash patch, the Wire, the wire wiry Bash patch that you can use. It actually creates stability for level lists, for NCPs, weapons and armor. It also makes mods work very well together. Now don't get me wrong, Matador Smash is like any other tool. It has it does a great job, but it also has its flaws. And I'm going to show you the process to check for those flaws in SS through SSE edit. Okay, after we download it. We're going to make a smash patch in this video as well, and then I will show you the process on how to check for any errors or things that you might run into. I will give you a good example with my with the model list that I have right now. Now the cool thing about Matador Smash is when you download the patch, it will install it directly now into your Mod Organizer 2. It actually looks for Mod Organizer 2 when you install it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to uh, I will leave a page for the forums so you can read more about it. Look at for video, his Matador's own video tutorial for a couple years ago. Uh, now, not as will be hopefully in, uh, I won't give you as much detail as this one does to, on how to fix certain things, but I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what to troubleshoot and look for. Okay. Now, you're going to click on the Matador Smash download page. It will be under GitHub right now. I will leave the link in the section down below. If this ever updates to Nexus, I will then go back to this video and I will update the link to the Nexus page. Or if I need to, I will update the video as well to show you how to download it directly. Now, the thing about Matador Smash is you do not want to put it inside of Mod Organizer itself. There are some tools like Body Slide you want to put in Mod Organizer too, like, okay? However, you, you do not want to put Matador Smash inside Body Slide. The reason being is that if you do that, I'm sorry, and you want to put it inside of Mod Organizer 2, is because if you do that, it, it will have a hard time reading your load order properly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to download it to, to whatever file you want. I usually do it to the, you can click here and you can download, uh, save as, have, have link as, whatever place you want to. Um, usually you can put it any place you want on your desktop if you want, or uh, I actually put things in my download folder, it's just a little bit more simple for me. I'm pretty simple when it comes to that. So, alright, now we're going to go to our download folder, which is over here. Okay, I usually keep it in my favorites. And you're going to see Matador Smash. You're going to right click and you're going to unzip, it's using zip, 7-zip or Wuthrad, whatever, which one you choose. Click Extract File, click OK. Alright, believe it or not, you just installed Matador Smash. Yay! <laughs> So yeah, you know you have literally just installed Matador Smash. However, now we're going to put it in the, in the where we want to put it. So wherever you installed your Mod Organizer 2 directory, mine's on my desktop, where I can just get to it. You're just going to drag and drop Matador Smash into that file, okay? So we're going to go here and get our Matador Smash file, and just drag and drop it over here, okay? There we go. All right, Matador Smash is now installed from Mod Organizer 2. File-wise, now we need to install it through the, the executable so we can actually use it for our mod list. Okay, now as you can see, I already have a smash patch here. Now, that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and delete this one for now, okay? Let's get rid of it. Okay, so now we're going to go to executables, and we're going to go up here to edit. And we're going to write Matador SMASH! Okay. Now we're going to click here, the binary, and we're going to go into our Mod Organizer 2 directory, wherever you put it. I actually dragged a folder over to my favorite, so I can just click on it anytime I want and just easily get to it. You're going to look for the Matador Smash file, which is right here. Awesome. Click on the executable and click Open. Click Add. All right, now we're going to click our little shortcut. So as you can see, the executable should be here. Okay, click on this. Now you can run Matador Smash through the Run section, or you can put up at the toolbar if you wish. Or if you want to, you can drag it to your desktop. Okay? go down to the bottom and you will see Matador Smash is here. However the it looks I don't want the I don't want the Matador Smash to have the Mod Organizer 2 um, icon. So let's give it the Matador Smash one. We're gonna click right click on it, go down to properties, click change icon, click browse, 
directory, Matador Smash, and then click on the. You want to find the Matador Smash ex executable, because all you need is the all you need is the icon for it, which is in the executables file. Click open. And there's the icon. Click OK. Click Apply. As you can see, it has changed to Matador Smash. Put it down here, and click OK. And there you go. You have the Matador Smash icon for your file. All right. So now we want to load up Matador Smash, and we'll do it from the desktop since I'm going to be lazy. Okay. Now, when you first load up Matador Smash, it'll give you a version of all the games you have installed. You always want to click on the one you're using, which is we're going to use Skyrim Special Edition. So click on Skyrim Special Edition and click OK. Now, before Matador Smash allows you to use, you want to make sure you're, you have all the files you want to, um, to, to make a Smash patch with. Certain files, unfortunately, because I'm using CBBP Physics, will not work properly with CBBP Physics with Matador Smash all in one. Like I said, the tool is great, but it does have its flaws. This uh, I'm going to un-execute with these. I don't like making a Smash patch with a Sky UI for, uh, since I've had some experience and, and uh, the immersion of Hub. You, on the other hand, because your, your mod list may be different, may want to check you know, to see what files you want. I also don't like, like making a Smash patch with realistic water just for the simple fact that it's a texture and I have had issues with it in the past. Okay, so I usually un I usually un-smash all these files. I don't smash these files. This is my own pr pr preference. You can do what you want with your game. If you want to smash them all, Matador himself actually recommends you do smash all together. And then when you're done smashing, just kind of go through SSE edit to make the fixes. Now, as you're seeing, Matador Smash does uh, check the ESL files for the creation kit. I do have three of them. And yes, I do have the Dwarven Mud Crab. Hate me all you like. I have no problem with that at all. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> um... So I'm going to click on all these, and I've already basically cho chosen the files I'm going to smash on my game. Okay, guys? Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our smashing. And I don't want to smash a finesse file. Click OK. Matter of Smash will load up properly like it always does. By the way, guys, if you're using finesse and you're going to make a finesse patch, make sure you're not selecting finesse with your smash patch because it, it, it could cause some issues just to be safe okay now we do want Matador Smash to recognize Mod Organizer 2 so you're going to go here you're going to click I'm using Mod Organizer Matador made a great thing it will detect it automatically and click detect integrations it will find the file for you okay click OK Or if you're doing like me, wherever you put your mod, your mod Organizer 2 folder, since mine's on my desktop, I want to put it on my desktop. So we're going to go to Desktop, PC, Tonio. Mod Organizer 2, click OK. And then we're going to click Mods. And as you can see, it's already found my mods. Okay. So everything's, just make sure you, wherever you put your, your Mod Organizer 2 path, that is the name, that is the right file path you have for Mod Organizer 2, and then click OK. All right. Now, what we want to do is, as you can see, you can sh submit plugins here. You have uh, some Manage Smash Patch Settings, so you can change your settings on your Smash Patch however you want. Um, this, this is just things you can experiment with. You can change the colors of each one if you want. Um, you can change the status name, and... Uh, the hashtag I would leave as is just because in all honesty that's how the way Matador has created it okay and then basically this is a, a, a submission of wire bashes all of its tags but Matador Smash makes them more efficient click out of here now um, you can check your, your, your view directory after you make the patch and then of course create your new patch now when you first do this you want to click you can click alt you can choose what mods you want to smash together if you just want to do a little a few mods at a time and create different patches with that you click alt on your keyboard and then you click your mouse button and you can choose each one now if you want to smash them all which is what I like to do you can click select so uh, we'll click alt here click shift and then all the way up click shift at the top and, and then left click on your mouse that will allow you to select them so click here Actually, as a matter of fact, let's do it from the top. Let's go shift here and go all the way down to the bottom and all of them here. All right, you're going to right click here and you're going to go to smash all. Now we're going to smash all these these uh, mods together, okay? This will allow for our smash patch to run prop to run properly. Now we're going to go to create new. You're going to right click again and click add patch. Click 
like sm smash patch. You can name it whatever you want. Let's say you want to, you know, create different smash patches. You know, you can choose the name of that patch as you choose. Maybe you want to do one for level lists for armors. Maybe you want to do a smash patch for NCPs. Maybe you want to do a smash patch for just random mods you, you, you want to have working together in different ways, but you added different tags for those mods. Matador Smash allows you to do that. But we're going to smash them all at once just to kind of give you an example of how to create a patch. I highly recommend playing around with it and creating, creating different smash patches as you as you choose, okay? Now, you're, now, there's two ways to make a smash patch. You can click the little hammer. After you've done this, you want to make sure that you do check your patch. Make sure it has all the... All the you, and before you smash, click on it and make sure you, you've checked all the files, that all the ESPs that you want to smash together. And when it is done smashing, it'll tell you what, what areas of the smash patch have failed and what, what areas have succeeded, okay? Alright, now you can right click and you can create build, alright? And if you ever want to see where it's going to go, you open up your file directory and it'll tell you exactly where it's going to go. So as you can see, it's already basically made the smash patch for you and your mod organizer uh, mods. And I'll show you once the patch is made how to find it without having to close matter closing mod organizer two. Alright, so we're gonna click the you can click the hammer to build your patch or you can right click I usually like to check my mods first just to make sure all the ESPs are and ESMs are correct. We're gonna click build. Now you can check the details and if you just don't want it you don't want to see it see it do anything, you just click up here and uh, it'll just do a normal thing. Or if you want to see details you can just show details. Matador Smash does build the patch very quickly. Like I said, though, but like any other thing, it'll it'll take a few minutes. And as you can see, I have 1,248 little uh, records it has to go through. So that's a pretty big mod list. All right, so we've gone ahead and we made our Smash patch. You, you can check through all the records and what it did, what it didn't do. Okay, what it created. You can literally go through every little detail. If you understand this these type of records, this will definitely help you if you're as, as a modder. Click close. As you can see, it, it shows you all the fails that it has. So, farmer armor, farmer boots, farmer gauntlets, and you know, simple things like that. And it'll give you a little description of what you know what's going on. You can also check your log section too, as well, after you built the patch, resources it's made, everything it's done. So, it kind of give you an idea of what it you know what it's added and what it hasn't. Okay, you can click on each log, and it'll it'll show you a little bit more about that. You can also click on each patch as well, and it shows you the record states, what's uh, using what devs it doesn't use owners and all that stuff so it, it really is a great tool to use all right now once we've done this you just click exit it'll show you there and it'll it'll, it'll log out you've got a modernizer too right now where's the smash patch it's supposed to be in my inventory right so you click down here and you don't see it well you need to refresh mod organizer too so the little toolbar here you go down here and you click refresh and there it is there's your smash patch now I'm going to tell you right now because and I don't need to sh I can show you as well if you want to see if you load your game with the Smatador Smash if you have alternate start new beginnings installed you are going to have a problem okay it's going to cause your save to act really funny and look really really weird so I recommend that anytime you have a matter of smash patch in and your and your in your load order on the left and the right side you put it above new alternate start new beginnings and I highly recommend you do, otherwise you're going to notice your saves. Your saves going to look like it's corrupt. It's not. There's just something. There's just something about Matador Smash, Smash Patch, and Alternative Start New Beginnings that just seem to fight one another. I don't know what it is, but, there's, but there is definitely a conflict between the tool and this particular mod. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up SSE Edit, and you're going to want to load up your Smash Patch and all the other files to make sure everything's working properly. So just click here. I will load ahead so you don't have to worry about this section. And I'm going to show you like how to check for uh, errors and whatnot. All right, everyone. Once you've loaded your smash patch along with your entire lo your load list in load order list inside the mod organ the SSE edit, you're going to want to check for any errors that you or conflicts you might want to see. When you find your smash patch, all you do is right click here and you just click apply filter or apply conflict losers. I'm going to apply filters because there's a specific mod I, I actually have a problem with my smash patch when I do when I do batch it together with the smash patch. <laughs> Click apply filter. And I'm going to show you what mod that is in a moment. All right. So once we're done with our filter, we want to you can check through your files to see if there's any conflicts with the, with the smash patch. As you can see it's bright pink so there are some conflicts that it has having with certain items. When you're doing this, you want to check certain things to see if those records are, are correct are correct or not. 
it is always good to just to double check to make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to and which one you want to use and which one you don't want to use for your records. Matador Smash tries to find the best records it can to make sure every, it balances out every bit of your mods so they all work together, but it's not entirely perfect. While playing my game when I'm using uh, Matador Smash, okay, with a Smash patch, I ran across the bug that actually re-emerged itself with which is the four sworn cloaks and capes. In my Smash patch when I made it, and the reason I didn't un uncheck it when I made the Smash patch is because I actually wanted to show you how to do this. I came across the problem with Cloaks of Skyrim, okay? So Skyrim, Cloaks of Skyrim, and the the patch it has for the Sports Swarm body for males, because the body ends up being invisible. Well, the Cloaks actually have a patch already for Cloaks of Skyrim that fixed that problem with the Force Swarm for Skyrim Special Edition. So in a moment, I'm going to find the Cloaks, and I'm going to try to show you what, what, I, what I can do to fix this problem. All right, everyone, so as you can see here, I have Cloaks of Skyrim. And I'm clicking on it now, and uh, the reason I'm clicking on it is because I want to show you kind of what it looks like a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, you have records here, right? And we have, it shows you the cloaks, and now if the Smash Patch is involved with the cloak, it'll pop up over here. Now, there's one particular folder under Outfits that actually has a conflict I noticed with, the, with Cloaks of Skyrim and its patch. And it's the Briarheart body for the Forsworn Briarheart leader. So the Briar Heart skin heart, okay? The Smash Patch actually combines and makes it look nice. Now I have... The thing is though, you don't really need the Smash Patch for this particular mod, since this mod already fixes the problem. However, I do have another mod installed. I have actually converted over and used, which was Crafting Overhaul. I did... I can... this Now this mod is not available on the Nexus Skyrim Special Edition. I converted it myself and I got it working properly on my system. That doesn't mean... Uh, you you gonna you want to use this yourself. However, this mod actually has a conflict with the Smash Patch, which causes the Briarheart body to be invisible for the uh, the, the four Swarm Briarhearts. So all I'm gonna do is right here. I'm gonna remove these. This is something I know how to do, and it works on my system. But it doesn't mean it's gonna work on yours. Everyone's Smash Patch with everyone's load order is gonna be different. This is how I fix my Smash Patch because this is the this is the one thing I know needs a conflict in order for it to work properly. This is already fixed with this particular patch here. Okay, for the uh, this this patch here is what fixes the the force sworn. I don't want the crossing overhaul you know mod over overriding this one when it's already been fixed. This this is fine with a conflict. I don't it doesn't need need another one here. Okay, since it this does fix it, but the problem is there's two of them already. I just need the one for the patch itself. So I delete the patch and let this let the, this one for Cloaks of Skyrim you, you usually patch, which fixes the, the, the Forsworn Body's invisibility problem, uh, take over where the Smash Patch would combine them both, which actually adds an error because there's two of them. I just removed the one and just allowed this one to take over in the Smash Patch. And that's just a, and that's just a bug I found out with my own Smash Patch. But when you guys are... And the only way you're going to find these bugs out is when you're playing Skyrim Special Edition and, you, and check your Smash Patch, because it's not perfect. It does a really good job balancing out your, you know, your mods and what they do. But at the end of the day, it's still, like any other tool, it has issues. And you're going you're gonna to notice those conflicts within your game. So I've kind of given you an idea of how to, how, to, how to look and fix your Smash Patch if there's any issues you might run into. Alright? And then sometimes you may have a, a Smash Patch that didn't do what it was supposed to, and you need to drag and drop the file over here to fix it. So that way it looks nice and, and you know, you, the records are doing what they're supposed to. But I know for a fact on my particular system, this is not going to work. Okay? So all you do is click exit and you just save your patch like you normally would. And, uh, SS, through SSE edit. Now the smash patch is actually now, the fixed patch is going to be in the override folder, not the smash patch. You want to drag and drop it back in the, in the smash patch wherever you put it. Okay, so mine's going to be in here along with the backups. Okay? And there you have it. That's how you create your Smash Patch. That's how you load it up. And it works really, really well. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please make sure you go ahead to go to Matador Smash and give him a... Matador the Eternal. Give him a huge thank you. We always appreciate the tools he creates. Also, the Mod Organizer 2 team, since creating... You know, making Mod Organizer 2 stable. And you can go ahead and load your game like you normally would through SKC64 or the uh, SS, uh, SSE extension if, as, as you would. If you guys like my tutorial, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I always appreciate my subscribers. I seriously do. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.